Welcome to the knowledge series of IT Partshala. This tutorial video is the fourth part of IT Awareness and Terminology module. Our learners are advised to go through the first, second and third parts of IT Awareness and Terminology module before proceeding with this video. In this tutorial, we'll talk about Wi-Fi, Remote Login, Bluetooth and Data Speed Measurement Units. Remote Login is the ability to get access to a computer or a network from a remote distance. Remote Login enables users on one computer to see and interact with the actual desktop user interface of another computer. For Remote Login to work, both the host computer and all remote users have to download and install the same desktop sharing software. When connected, the software opens a window on the host system containing a view of the target's desktop. Desktop sharing software typically includes two distinct programs. The desktop sharing client that runs on the host computer, a viewer program that allows the remote user to view the contents of the host computer's desktop in a resizable window. Remote login will only work if the host computer is powered on, connected to the internet and running the desktop sharing software. Each time you open and run the desktop sharing software on the host computer, the software starts a new session. Each session has a particular ID and password required to remotely log in to the host computer. Once the session has been established, most desktop sharing software quietly run in the background of the host computer until a remote login request is made. You must have seen Bluetooth in billions of devices ranging from mobile phones and computers to medical devices and home entertainment products. Bluetooth is used to transfer files between a PC and a smartphone or move it between two mobile phones without physically needing to attach them with wires. Bluetooth was invented by Ericsson in 1994 as a way of transferring information over short distances without the need for wires. Bluetooth works using wave radio technology through the 2.4 to 2.485 GHz transmission band. A Bluetooth device contains a small computer chip enabling the user to connect that to other devices within a personal area network of 30 to 50 meters. App Store refers to Apple's application store, an online store for purchasing and downloading software applications and mobile apps for Apple devices. There are more than 5 lakh apps available on the Apple App Store. The Apple App Store serves as the only way to download native iOS applications and apps can be purchased and downloaded directly to the device itself. Google Play is Google's online store for purchasing and downloading apps, music, ebooks, movies and similar content for use on Android powered smartphones, tablets, Google TV and similar devices. There are more than 8 lakh apps available on the Google's Play Store. Applications can be downloaded directly to an Android device through the Play Store mobile app or by deploying the application to a device from the Google Play website. Online shopping is the process of buying goods and services from merchants over the internet. Since the emergence of internet, merchants have sought to sell their products to people who spend time online. Shoppers can visit web stores from the comfort of their homes and shop as they sit in front of their computers. Alternative names of the online shopping are e-shopping, internet shopping and web shopping. One can also pay utility bills, book tickets and do banking online. The smallest unit of measurement used for measuring data is a bit. A single bit can have a value of either 0 or 1. A byte or 8 bits is used as the fundamental unit of measurement for data. Other units of data size measurement and their values are as follows. Data transfer speeds can be measured in bits per second or in bytes per second. However, network engineers describe network speeds in bits per second, while web browsers usually measure a file download rate in bytes per second. A lowercase b means a bit, while an uppercase b represents a byte. In networking, metric prefixes, for example, kilo, mega, and giga, refer to their decimal and not binary meaning. BPS, known as bits per second, BPS was the main way of describing data transfer speeds decades ago. KBPS, kilobits per second or thousand bits per second. Megabits per second or 1 million bits per second, internet service providers usually measure their internet connectivity in Mbps. Gigabits per second or 100 billion bits per second, modern local area networks 
internet infrastructure and consumer internet connections in some countries operate at these speeds. Our IT awareness and terminology module ends here. In this module, we discuss some of the most popular technologies that software professionals as well as others use in their day-to-day -day lives. For more tutorial videos, please visit our library at www.itpatshala.com.